Hello everyone, it's Winona the left hand. No, 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 it's Winona from Dairy Barn Art. <laughs> right now I don't have that hat on. I have my Dairy Barn hat, Art hat on. So we are up to week five on the Marguerite Miller. And I tell you, it's getting more challenging each time um, to find things. But um, let's start with, this is gratefulness practice. It says the treasure chest. Reflect on the memories of sweet moments in your life, large and small. Write a short line on a small piece of paper and fold each memory and place it in a treasured container. Each day as you pass your treasure chest, pull out and revisit a special memory. Oh man, I like that idea. Will I remember it when I'm done my, my video? Probably not, <laughs> but I think it's really good, a nice sweet idea. Okay, so this was a challenge. Um, the prompts this week are something maroon, a repeating pattern found in nature, an eating or cooking utensil such as a spoon, something hung on a wall, a doodle, and type. the bonus is typewriter text. Well, I couldn't get my head off of maroon five. Um, that came into my head and I thought I should pick, I should have pick, printed a picture of them and I may when I'm done and add it to it. But when I went through my photos, I did find things that were maroon. I found, um, this is um, plum jam that I was making one year and it's kind of maroonish. At least in the picture, it's maroon, and I, I bonus that. I get my cooking utensil with that photo. So then I went in and uh, a lily. I took a, well, I didn't take a picture of it. It's been in my photos, but it's one of my lilies from outside. So I snagged one of those pictures. And I'm probably, I'm not doing this right. I'm probably supposed to find pictures other other places, but I don't know, this is what I do. Something hung on a wall. This is a quilt I made years ago. It sits in my living room. And that also gave me a date. We couldn't remember when we moved here and this picture was taken in the house we're in now. So, um, and this was from 2007. So we've been here at least that long. This probably wasn't much before we moved here though because I had much fewer things in the house. Oh, this is what didn't print out. That didn't print out very well. That was a rose from my garden. This is, geez, I'm having issues with every printer in this house. This is um, a repeating pattern found in nature. I thought right away of foliage, like four leaf clovers or these ferns. So I might trim these down a bit more, but for now we'll just leave them square or rectangle. A repeating pattern in nature. I have a photo. Oh my goodness. Just hold on a second. No, I did pick my pictures up from the from the copier, the printer. Oh, those are the ones that didn't turn out from my other printer. Something maroon. Um, my old vehicle. And I'm thinking what I might do is just cut out the, the, that, so I'm going to leave it at that. A repeating fa pattern found in nature. A rainbow. See the two rainbows there? This was taken in from my yard. Oh yeah, that's, I, I printed these things out twice because um, my first printer wasn't printing properly, so I have this photo twice. But we'll, we'll print it out, we'll cut it out anyway. And then this was the rose from my garden. It's kind of dark, but I think I'll just, I'll just cut it up to here. No need to see the weed in the background. I don't know, twitch grass we call it here. Oh, the roots go on for miles. And here's another of the repeating, um, from our yard of a repeating pattern found in nature. And I kind of thought I would just cut that like that. And 
them in well. There we go. So we're ready to start placing things. Oh, we need typewriter text. And I was too lazy to get my typewriter out. And I had this book from a thrift shop. Or I think it was a bookstore I bought it from. So we'll just tear out some text here. I have to start using these up too. So let's put these here and see what we can do. So I'm thinking this is good paper. Keep it. I'm thinking I can put this here. Let's take it over to there. And again, I'll keep that. So I've got that. I kind of want to put this in the corner. And then should we do... Should we kind of do like a little cluster of maroon? Where's my car? Or my vehicle? So it goes down like this. We've got maroon there. We can cut the rows a bit more. Doesn't have to be perfect. I just want to get the gist of the maroon. And I should have done the maroon five picture. So we've got this here. And then we've got my car. And this is another repeating pattern found in nature. My quilt. Where's my quilt going to go? Something hung on the wall. And I think that can go there. And then we can have kind of a collage here of those. So what are we going to put on the background? Let's cut a piece here. Oh, I keep forgetting I want to keep the prompts. I think next year I might just buy the prompts and um, use whatever paper. So we'll put that behind there. Put you there. And you there. And then we'll... Let's just slide this down and we can cover the whole sheet with it. This one's going to be fast, I think. Okay, we've got something maroon, a repeat, something maroon, a repeating pattern found in nature. Um, the leaves of the fern, the fronds, I guess, a uh, double rainbow, an eating or cooking utensil such as a spoon. There's my spoon in my pot. Something hung on a wall. Dunk. A doodle. Oh, man. Okay, so I'll doodle in here, and then bonus typewriter text. We've got that. So let's get everything down, and then I'll doodle. So let's do this page first. I'm going to have to go down and cook some supper soon. I've had a really good day up here. I think this is my third video. One. Yes, my third video of the day. So I'm getting a little bit ahead. And I'm hoping, I'm waiting for some stuff in the mail. And that'll decide whether I do two jewelry videos tonight, two of my beading channel videos. So maybe I will get ahead before I have to go to my mom's. I shouldn't say have to go. I don't have to go to my mom's. I choose to go to my mom's. And I'm very thankful I have a place to go because I go to the city and I spend a few days up there then at her house. So um, I'm very fortunate. If you met my mom, she's just amazing. 
She really is. She's my best friend. And I'm so lucky because we've had this relationship most of our lives. I went through the troubled years. I'm not kidding you. I did. And I said some mean things to my mom. And But by the time I was in high school, I my mom was my best friend. We would go shopping together Thursday nights when the stores were open late. That was when stores were only open late on Thursday nights and um, they were closed on Sundays. So we would go shopping on Thursday nights. We'd go to the mall and just basically look. I worked all through high school, so sometimes I'd buy. My mom and I both liked clothes. So sometimes I'd buy an outfit or mom would buy something. And um, just had really good time. Saturdays were another shopping day. And usually Saturday, um, when we got home, Saturday was a grocery day for mom. And when we got home, Often she'd make hamburgers, like not bought patties, but homemade hamburgers for supper Saturday night. And then as an adult, when I moved out here, she would often come out and help me when she was working. And and then I, I took my layoff in 2007 from the school division. I chose not to bump anybody or take a, a different position. I chose to be laid off. And... Um, my mom was still working then, and then she retired, and I went back to work full time. And I didn't know this for a long time, but she told one of my friends that, you know, um, I'm retired. I finally retire, and Winona's at work now, because we did. We like we went on holidays together, and we do everything together. We're hoping to get to Nova Scotia this year. I want to go back to Oak Island, see a few more things now that I'm feeling better. But you know, that, that health comes day by day. Okay, so we'll put you down first. Oh, that should have gone there. Now I got a doodle freehand. Oh, that wasn't a good idea. I was gonna copy the flowers going to doodle the flowers. I am not the best freehand doodler. Well, suck it up, Winona. What do they say? Suck it up, buttercup. I hate when people say that to me. My friend always says, well, put on your big girl panties and deal with it. And that's about it. Okay, I'll put you here. I really need to change that glue page. I'm gonna do it right now. And you saw in my video how I was using up my January planner scraps and also using up my glue pages. using up books that would have hit the trash, giving them another life. Okay, I have a little scrap of this. No, that's glued down already. Well, I'll use it to copy from. And where are my new pens? Let's use number five. And let's do... one up here and we'll do another one of these things there
I think I'm getting worse as I'm going along. You do start to get a path as you get going though. So anyway, there's my doodle. So we have, oh, I should color in the centers of each of these. And you can go in and like do Zentangle and that too. This one looks like a big bloob. Okay, so I've got something maroon. I didn't check off last week's, but I've got my maroon corner there. A repeating pattern found in nature. I've got all three of those. An eating or cooking utensil such as a spoon. I've got that there. Something you hang on a wall. This is still hung on the wall in my living room. I love, I love that look. A doodle. I've got my doodle. And my bonus typewriter paper text. So I have finished week five. I love this. This is so much fun. Um, if you're not following along doing it, I suggest you give it a try. It is just, it's like playing. So I can get, I should put this in my folder because you never know if I'm going to need that photo again. Well, we'll trim this off here. And then I'll ink it off camera. So anyway, I'm done. I'm going to head downstairs and cook supper. I wish you lots of luck and happiness until we meet again. Take care, my friends. Bye-bye.